The X Factors are back in stock. I'm super pumped to get these things in. I've been waiting five months for this order. Ugh. These are great power washers because we spec these out ourselves to be exactly the way we like them. You're familiar with these already because I use them in my videos. I use them, I don't know if you can see it over there, but that's my wall mounted one way over there in the, in the middle of those two right over there. That's the X Factor layout. And what that means is we've got some upgraded parts and pieces, a simpler plumbing layout, ease of service as the priority because certain things fail over time. You're gonna wanna be able to get the unloader off of there every now and then to be able to swap that out when it gets tired. So we put a screw coupling on the inlet of that. Very easy to get this out and replace it. So if you have to do any service to the thing, everything's wide open. I love these machines because they're a very straightforward design. That means that there's less problems over time. And I love that everything is out in the open where you can turn a wrench on it. These are awesome some power washers and they're all stocked here so that we can get them out promptly. If it's in stock on my website, that means it's ready to go. So this one, I'm actually gonna keep for myself. This is a really nice hot water power washer. I love this layout because it's just like the one that I have on the wall here, same exact pump, motor, all that stuff. Same spec, same unloader valve, pressure switches, everything. Obviously the difference is this one's got a big burner coil on it, so this thing can do a gigantic temperature rise. And I'm gonna do a test real soon Soon. I'm gonna fire this thing up and see what we get for a temperature out of this thing maxed out so we can find out what the temperature rise is over what comes in for the inlet temperature water. This is a nice design here. I love these cantilevered brackets for these casters. That just looks really nice and the casters are very helpful if you have a floor kind of like mine just because you can turn it a little bit easier. We mount our real deal valve right here and then you can have your gallons positioned somewhere on this thing. And then basically all you need to rock and roll is a garden hose and a 220 volt outlet, just like a welder plug or a dryer plug, something like that. And then this thing is running. Your hose would be mounted right to this reel and it aims in any direction you want. Very industrial, giant motor. This thing is so huge. Seven and a half horse motor, just like the one that I use in my videos on my wall mounted machine over there. All of our own decals on there, the X Factor, the front plate here shows that. You got your nozzle holders right there. Super, super cool. I don't have the hoses or the guns set up on this thing right now, but it would come with a Sutner 100 foot hose on this reel. If you want the real deal injector, it would be mounted right here. And you get an upgraded squeeze trigger, upgraded stainless steel wand, Q connects on even the base model. Very, very nice interface to work with. Now this thing I'm really excited about, this is the gas powered unit right here. So this thing is gonna be a hugely helpful thing for a lot of owner operators out there. What I like about this is you don't have to worry about setting up power. You don't have to worry about installation and all all of that kind of stuff, put gas in the thing, put a garden hose to it, and you're rocking and rolling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a real deal valve right here. So I've got my two-step injector, and then this bracket right here on the side, I think normally they have this here for a hose, but it fits two one-gallon F-style jugs, the ones I use for Stars and Stripes, perfectly. So they're just hanging right here. So I'm gonna run my pickup tubes real clean right off of this, right into the soaps, and I think it's gonna look really good, and I think it's gonna be an amazing solution for anyone who doesn't necessarily have a room like this to install everything in. If you just want to roll a power washer out the back door somewhere and wash down whatever, this would be a an incredible solution for that. So this thing is a monster spec. This thing runs four gallons per minute at 4,000 PSI. That's like so much more powerful than even the one I use in my videos. And it's all due to this Honda engine and the 13 horsepower that this thing puts out. It allows the pump to crank a little harder and put out a little more gallons per minute than the electric versions can. So if you're at a place where you have some ventilation, maybe you're washing outside, then this should be a killer solution because this will be the most cost effective, the most easy to get up and running with. And I think it'll be a great solution for a lot of you guys. Interesting way to see the overall power of a power washer, the pep that it's gonna have when you squeeze the trigger is to calculate the cleaning units. And that's like an actually very easy thing to do. Cleaning units are just the PSI times the gallons per minute. So like my normal power washer is 3.5 gallons per minute times 3,000 PSI, 10,500 cleaning units in my videos here off the machine that runs on this ceiling boom up top. So a good amount of pep. This one, four at 4,000, 
obviously is 16,000. So you're looking at like 30% more power coming out of this thing. So that's a lot. Now you don't have to use all that pressure if you're a little bit leery of putting that much pep out onto your vehicle. I totally understand 4,000 PSI is a lot. This could easily be cut down a couple of different ways. You could either put a little bit larger nozzle on the wand, which would cut the pressure down, but not the flow. Or you could just unscrew this unloader valve a couple turns and the pressure you would see drop down to wherever you're comfortable with. Could be 2,500, 3,000. But the 4,000 is there, you know, if you want to strip some paint or something, I don't know. This guy over here is another really easy to set up solution. I like this because of the ease of putting something into a corner of a wash bay. Let's say you have a stationary setup like, like my wash bay here and you don't want to have to mount the power washer to the wall like what I did over there with mine. This is a great way to just have a stand in the corner somewhere. You run your power and your hoses from it and it's ready to go at all times. These run like an air compressor does this as well. They run off pressure switches. So basically when you squeeze the trigger, they turn on. When you release the trigger, they cycle for about 30 seconds and then time down. So that way you never have to worry about your pump overheating. That's a big thing. You don't want to have to worry about that. What I like about this is the shroud. So this whole shroud tips forward and allows you to get right at the motor, right, get it right at the belts. So it's very easy to service. And I really like that about this. This is a very unique design in the power washing industry and something that I think is very special. One thing that is pretty ideal though is the fact that you can get at the pump without opening anything. So you have direct access, the unloader valve, you have direct access to the pump and all of its valves and, and seals and whatnot. Belt driven on this is also a, a perk over the direct drive models. All the rest of these are, are direct drive, but this one being belt driven means that when that motor starts up, it's not gonna impact the pump as much. So your pump's going to get a little bit longer service life than you would with a direct drive pump. These are the wall mounted guys right here. That's the one that I use in my wash bay here. I have one in the back wall running a reel and then I have one right here running this boom up top. And these are basically the same drivetrain as this, same amount of power as that, uh, seven and a half horse or five horse. So those are nice if you want a really clean installation. Me, I'm a little OCD, so I like to keep things off the floor. That's why I didn't opt for a stand unit in my wash bay here because most shops if you have something on the floor it's going to get all kinds of junk piled up around it or on top of it. So that's the only drawback with this style here. I like the wall mount because it keeps things clean automatically. So that's it. Here's all of them. And uh, I think that you guys would love these machines. I'll put all the links to these units right in the description below. And that's what the X Factor is. So in the following videos, I'll be diving into these more. We'll fire this thing up and we'll put a thermostat to it, see how much the temperature heats up. And we'll do some tests to see what the difference is between hot water power washing and cold water. Like how do, how do the results turn out one versus the other. It's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that. I'm very proud to offer these things. They are the culmination of my life's work, working on power washers and building power washers and setting up wash bays. So these are something that I'm very excited to offer and I hope you guys like them.